Welcome back. Well, some of us are starting off with a little bit of snow in the area. Others of us kind of just seeing some wet conditions due to some minor snow that fell through the overnight hours. As you can see from Bethany Lutheran College, not a whole lot going on here. The good news is no matter where you are, that light snow has now wrapped up going forward. Temperatures are going to want to have that jacket as you head out the door. Now, I know this isn't too terribly cold. We are mainly in those low 30s, a few upper 20s in the mix, sitting at 30 degrees here in Mankato. But winds are coming out of the north, so it's bringing in some colder air into the area this this morning and this afternoon. And we're reaching at 13 miles an hour here in Mankato. Some areas reaching up to 20 miles an hour, such as Esterville, 17 in St. James, Wyndham and Worthington. Now with this breeze, it is leading to a wind chill out there, making it feel about 10 degrees colder than what those temperatures are reading. So that is why you're going to want to have that jacket. Maybe warm up your car before you head out. It might be a little frosty, so warming it up will also help you uh, not have to really scrape your windows much this morning. We're looking at a real feel of 20 degrees in Mankato, St. Peter, Glencoe, New Ulm, Fairmont, and Blue Earth. As cold as a real feel of 16 degrees out by Wyndham. So a little bit of a brisk start to the morning out there. Satellite radar imagery showing that we are mostly cloudy. We had a little bit of snowfall, and most of that snow overnight into this morning fell in areas east and north of Mankato. So if you're going to be traveling along I-35 between Albert Lee and the Twin Cities, or east on 14 towards Rochester, even 90 a little bit, you might have a little bit more snow out there. In fact, I just updated this before we started, and it is updating once again. That just goes to show how quickly they update this road conditions as we deal with winter weather. And I will say this general area where my hand is, we are looking at anywhere from partially to completely snow covered roads. Now here in southern Minnesota, most of them are just partially snow covered. What that means is just slow down, give yourself a few extra minutes to get to where you need to go as there may be some slick spots out there. Good news. Let's talk about good news. We talked about some partially snow covered roads, so let's talk about what can end that and that is sunshine on the way. Temperatures are going to kind of hover in those mid 30s by this afternoon, but sunshine out there will help melt any of that little bit of snow that did fall and stick through the overnight hours into this morning. Tonight into tomorrow will be mostly clear to partly cloudy as we wake up and then we'll see those clouds clear out through the late morning hours, allowing for more sunshine through the day tomorrow. We'll hold on to those clear skies going into Thursday. 35 for the high today, rather seasonal out there. We've got that gradual clearing on the way. Kind of crisp, but mostly clear and quiet tonight. Winds dying down as we drop to low of 22 degrees by tomorrow morning. Here's a look at your extended forecast. If you have any last minute decorations you want to get up going forward, starting tomorrow through Friday are going to be the days you're going to want to do that as we're looking at the upper 40s, low 50s with sunshine mixed in. It will be a little breezy, but not too bad out there, especially with those warmer temperatures on the way. Take advantage of them, whether you just want to be outside or if, like I said, you have some last minute decorations to put up because going into the weekend and next week, temperatures will drop back into the 30s starting this weekend. And then we do have a chance of light snow possible. We're still kind of watching that on Monday and we'll see 20s on Wednesday next week. Stay tuned. We'll be back after the break.